Welcome to Rebecca Sounds Reveille. Today, we've got something that is going to change your life, those around you. I, this is super exciting. And we have done some shows in the past that will connect a lot of these things together that's going to make your life healthier and happier. The guest today started Nature Reigns with his parents, Maureen and Gordon, and he now runs the business alongside his wife, Carolina, and their three children. What's really exciting about this, and you've got to pay really close attention to here because this is out of the box. This is unlike traditional things that are going on. What is it? Nutraceutical, dermaceutical, and quantum nano supplements. Oh gosh, what does all that mean? Well, we're going to talk about it today so that you can get on board because in the climate that we're living in, we want you to stay healthy. My guest today has been an herbalist for over 10 years and he imparts healing and a lot of therapeutic, wait for it, frequencies. And I know those of you who've been watching the show know what I'm talking about because we have talked to somebody in the past who has really been able to define and tell us how that works, but we're going to go over it again today. So this is been incorporated into all of their formulations and it is really um, a product that has been a lifelong desire to really do what aligns with the show. And that is give people healthier lives physically, mentally, spiritually. So let's bring them on. Are you ready? David Diaker, welcome to the show. Thank you, Rebecca. It's a pleasure to be on the show with you. I am really jazzed about what you've got going on because this is something that is so necessary, so advanced, and you've been doing it for a long time and it's sort of hidden, but it is incredibly healthy and therapeutic. So tell me a little bit, you've been doing this since you were little. So how did you get involved with this with your parents and, and just making it flourish? So it's, I'll, I'll try to condense the story as much as possible, but it, it goes back to my great grandfather in England, who uh, used to travel and minister with a man named Smith Wigglesworth. Um, who was a, a, a massive evangelist in Africa, in England. Um, and, you know, most, most uh, people in Africa have heard of this man. So they, you know, my, my grandfather and, and my father, my great grandfather all had uh, healing ministries where they would pray for the sick and get them healed. Um, and that's how I grew up on the mission field in Africa, uh, myself and my sisters we were, you know, very much into that. And when we moved to the States in the early 90s, I noticed that there wasn't much of that around anymore. You know, that evangelical kind of faith healing that I grew up with wasn't very present in, in you know, quote unquote, the modern day church. Um, and we spent about 17 years here in the States um, you know, with different businesses and always had a heart for something to take back to Africa. Um, and, you know, one very random thing led to another uh, and we ended up starting this business and, and having Nature Reigns. Um, it's, you know, I, I feel like we've taken our, uh, you know, the energy healing side of my family and because, you know, I don't know what has caused this, but I feel like a lot of people have kind of lost that connection with, you know, with faith healing, with energy mm -hmm. healing, with all of these kinds of things. And now, you know, when, when people say, and this isn't across the board, this isn't, a, you know, it's a very generalized statement, but I feel like you don't see that very much in the church anymore. You, you may find churches here and there that, that that's still very strong with, but, you know, uh, looking at the church as a whole, you don't really see, you don't really see energy healing and faith healing mm -hmm. very much anymore. So true. Um, and I, I feel like the time for that, you know, in, in order to get people in general kind of left that and, and moved to, you know, pharmaceutical and allopathic medicine. And, and us as a society, we spent a, a, a reasonable amount of time with allopathic medicine, but I feel where we're getting now is to a place where we're realizing that it may work for some things, but it may also hurt other things. And it, it mm -hmm. may have side effects. And, you know, when you look at ads on TV, 
Um, they'll advertise one thing, but then they say the side effects are this, 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 and this, which yes. will require their own treatments. And before you know it, you're taking 10 or 20 different medications because you had high blood pressure in the beginning. Um, so where I feel nature reigns is, is we are dedicated to making incredibly high quality and very effective uh, supplements. We use a lot of medicinal plants that have a heritage that goes back two, three, four thousand years. Um, some of the essential oils that we use have been found uh, with Egyptian pharaohs in, uh, you know, in their tombs and everything. These are things that have a heritage of, of many, many hundreds and thousands of years. Um, this is really exciting. So before I, I've got to just kind of interject because for the audience who might not know, aside from essential oils, things about nutraceuticals or dermaceuticals, can you explain a little bit about that? I want to save the quantum nano for just okay. a little bit, because I think that that is just an explosive area to go into, but can you explain the others? So a, a dermaceutical is, you know, it, there's pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, dermaceutical, um, and the ceutical basically means that it's, uh, I, I can't say medicated because we don't make medicines, but right. it's something that has a positive effect, uh, not just as like taking vitamin C, but something that has a positive effect on a skin abrasion or um, some kind of defect in the skin. So a dermaceutical is something that's focused mainly on the skin, on the external of the body. A nutraceutical would be some kind of nutritional supplement that's focused on something internal. Um, and then the quantum nano is, is the next level. That's what, what we're part of pioneering. Yes, um, I, I love this. I'm really excited about this. And one of the questions some of the viewers and those that are listening may ask, can a dermaceutical be taken internally or is it only topical? It's meant to only be topical. There you go. Um, so you could, so our dermaceuticals, you could take internally, but it's, there's absolutely no effort whatsoever put into making it taste nice. So <laughs> Okay. <laughs> You're going to get a mouthful of beeswax and essential oils and, and stuff that really has no benefit for you whatsoever. Um, you know, you may benefit by some of the essential oils, but it's not going to be a pleasant experience and you won't gain a lot of benefit that you, uh, particularly for the, the skin condition or, or something on the, ex, on the outside that you would be using the product for. So yes, quality wise, you could ingest it, but it's not going to be a fun experience. <laughs> Well, this is good to know because oftentimes people are really thinking now about what goes into a product and if things have to remain um, topical or if it can actually benefit them internally and or even if by accident, if it's going to be harmful because they ended up ingesting something. So this is really good to know about the company because the products, like you said, are of such high quality that these are beneficial products. They aren't things that are going to be detrimental to you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not so much a, a question of quality. It's more of what kind of experience you would have if you did ingest it. So, uh, you know, like our external aches and pains lotion um, has some camphor uh, in it, which is um, basically menthol, menthol. extracted from yeah. peppermint. Uh, which is fantastic for putting it on a sore muscle, but ingesting it, it's probably not going to be, it'll, it'll make your mouth very cold and the beeswax will dry out and yeah, you'll be scraping beeswax out of your mouth. But outside of that, it's fine. It's safe to ingest. Yeah. Well, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun at all. It's be, more time trying to get that <laughs> out. Than... The, the nutraceuticals and the quantum nano uh, supplements. And, and that's, that'll be the best bet for going internal. Okay, so let's talk about that because this I find absolutely fascinating is we are at a point in time where we're really uncovering and maybe even barely scratching the surface, but it is coming to light a whole thing on quantum physics and, um, and some other things I really... 
I want to let you share it, but I'm just bursting at the seams to let it out. But if you could share a little bit about this, because this is something that you're using in your supplements and defies the traditional sort of over the counter supplements that we have been so accustomed to. Mm. Um, so first, let me say, please feel free to stop me at any point, because this is kind of my passion and I could go on for, for days on end about this. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. My, you know, everything that I say is my personal experience. So to your listeners, you know, things that resonate with you, take it, absorb it. If it doesn't resonate with you, this is, this is my personal experience and my beliefs and everything. So I believe that our collective consciousness as a human race is escalating to a point uh, and will we'll very soon be, be making a major breakthrough. Um, we, we're kind of going through an evolutionary leap right now. Um, and I would compare it to us going from a hunter-gatherer to, to farming and, and cultivating and everything. It's a, a massive evolutionary leap that, that I think humanity is heading towards right now. Um, and part of that is us opening to possibilities of things like frequencies. You know, how can a sound or a light affect the cells in your body? And um, you know, you mentioned quantum physics and quantum mechanics and science is very quickly catching up to spiritual beliefs to how I grew up, uh, uh, you know, the son of missionary parents and how a lot of people grew, um, grew up, you know, we, we have distant memories of this kind of thing. Um, and I, I feel like a lot of that has been polluted a little bit. And that's why we're not, you know, as a general, um, society, we're not so much attracted to that anymore. But I, I believe what we're moving towards is a deeper understanding of physics and, and quantum physics, quantum mechanics, where your thoughts can interfere with something, where your intention, where your mood, where um, the things that you concentrate on and, and have emotions about all throughout the day, literally shape the reality around you. Um, you know, I, in, in my experience as a herbalist, I've, I've run into people who have chain smoked cigarettes every day and worked out in the fields and eaten bacon and eggs every day for breakfast, yet they are in peak physical condition uh, and they have an incredibly positive outlook on life and they work hard and just everything's amazing to them. No matter what goes on in their lives, they're happy. Um, and then I've also met people who are yoga instructors, who are vegan, who are all of these kinds of things, and yet they suffer from cancer and all of these debilitating diseases. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know, love and light and all of these beautiful things, but it's not a practice and it's not what is in their heart. Um, and they tend to be more pessimistic instead of optimistic. And okay. all of those kinds of traits um, you know, kind of lead you down a road uh, of, of creating trauma in your body and, and traumatizing the cells in your body. And, um, you know, I've got a, a little ebook coming out. And in that, I talk a little bit about trauma and how things that we've experienced as children and throughout our lives store these negative emotions in your body, which uh, nine times out of 10 will eventually manifest itself into some form of disease in the body. So I, what we're getting into with our quantum nano supplements is taking these energy frequencies and putting them into products so that, you know, a, as a comparison, a, a pharmaceutical, every pharmaceutical is a, uh, a copy of a natural product. Yes. So, you know, a pharmaceutical company will find something in the jungle in the Amazon that has amazing blood pressure benefits, and they'll look at the chemical constituents of that, and they'll make a synthetic version of it so that they can patent it, and then they'll feed people the synthetic version. But there's no life. Sorry, please go ahead. Yeah, I just want to jump in right there, because this is what you're saying is something that we really need to pay attention to and be very aware of, because it's kind of like this. When we grab hold of something and end up with a splinter over time, our body will reject it and push it out. Things that are foreign, that aren't natural, that aren't 
they don't have life sustaining properties to them. We end up, it's, it's so not healthy for our body and our body tries to reject it. And that's why when you take a pharmaceutical that has synthetic properties, that it breeds side effects that can be far more debilitating than the problem you initially went and got that prescription for. So I want to point out that what you're saying is so important for us to absorb because if we're looking to cure something, which we can't ever say, especially when it comes to certain natural products, but if we're looking to make our lives better over a particular disease or ailment that we're facing, we need to think about that and look for alternatives that are going to actually be absorbed by the body and not reject it. Yeah. And I just want to make the the kind of disclaimer that we, you know, I'm not personally against, Carolina and I are not against allopathic medicine or, you know, Western doctors. We've taken our kids to the doctor when it's necessary. We've gone to the doctor when it's necessary. So, you know, we're not those people who are like absolutely against it and, you know, find another way. But our belief system is that you should always try a natural route first. Yes. Um, and if you're not able to fix it that way, now, if you break your arm or something like that, please get to the hospital as quickly <laughs> yes, as possible. Yes. Um, don't, don't put like a salve on it and hope that the bone heals itself, you know, get there, get them to fix it, they're professionals. But when you have a cold or, um, you know, something like that, when you have something that, that is part of life, part of, of our experience here on this earth, um, I, I always try and we always try to take the natural route first and to support the immune system and support all of the healing properties of the body. And yes. if the body still struggles after that, then the next step would be allopathic medicine and the pharmaceuticals. I have had to go on pharmaceuticals before. I've gone on antibiotics before. Um, but the important thing now in my life is that if I know I have to go on antibiotics, I take probiotics to counteract the negative effects of it. So that's um, smart. So- yeah, it's just, to me, it's, it's about opening up your mind and, and exploring your options. You know, allopathic medicine is not your only option. Um, would you, would you, would it be a safe bet to say that if I am utilizing products that keep my body healthy to begin with, especially on a regular basis, if we're consistent about making sure that we um, take things that our body's going to help it's going to help give us a really strong immune system and things like that, that we will be subject to less problematic issues in the future. Um, Yeah, absolutely. I think that is, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any question about that. I think one of the, one of the most important things is keeping passageways open in your body for your body to detoxify. Um, So, you know, we're doing a lot of research in this currently, and I think the next block of products that we release are all going to revolve around cleaning the body and detoxification. Um, We have one product right now that's that's a detox, but, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of research on this, and I found that there's lots of, like, your lymphatic system, your colon, there's lots of separate entities in your body that all need kind of their own cleaning. Uh, what we have right now is kind of a generalized detox um, that works very well, but now we're starting to target, like we've, let's look at heavy metals and move those out. Let's look at uh, li- uh, kid- kidney, liver, and spleen and clean those out. And let's look at your colon and clean that out. And by focusing on these different organs, we're able to kind of have the maximum benefit from, from getting them clean. So I would say the number one thing is to keep your body clean and, and keep pathways open. I know a gentleman that does um, ionic foot baths every day. Um, and and when, he, when he starts to get a flu or something like that, he, has, he never has any snot in his nose because that's uh, your body trying to push things out. So because he does this foot bath every day, his body has an open channel to get rid of toxins. So he never has any snot and he never has any congestion in his lungs. He never coughs up phlegm because his body knows where it can push out toxins. That's fascinating. Um, And it reminds me of something about, 
it's probably been at least 10 or 15 years. And it seemed to be really kind of a hot on the market thing. And people were putting these patches on the bottom of their feet and everybody said, oh, you know, that's, that doesn't work. Um, but those that were I, doing that. I just purchased <laughs> some of those. <laughs> yes, we're having such benefits. Yeah. So I, I've been, since speaking to this gentleman, I've been looking into the feet and the feet have the largest pores in yes, the body. Yes, they do. So they're the most available for detoxing. Um, you know, the, the colon is very good, uh, but I, I think you also have to be careful. Like you don't want to take too much stuff that makes your colon release too, too much because it, uh, anything that you do to do that will also affect your bacteria in your stomach. And that's a very delicate balance and you don't yes. want to mess with that too often. Um, so the feet, we're actually going to be, we're designing a, a foot bath uh, that's going to be uh, a water ionizer and it's going to have ozone therapy as well. Um, I love it. So that'll be something that you can put your feet in for about 30 or 45 minutes every day uh, and just, you know, open up those pathways. It cleans up the, the lymphatic system and everything. So yeah, keeping the body clean and then knowing what supplements you need. Um, there are, are people out there, and, and I'm sure, you know, I can put you in touch with them. I think they would be fantastic guests for your show. Uh, people who have machinery that works off of the frequencies in your body. Um, and, and they're able to do a scan on you remotely. You have to buy a special headset. You put the headset on, you plug it into your computer, and they can do a scan on you. And they can say, okay, your body's low on vitamin C, you're low on... Um, you know, vitamin K, vitamin D3, like these are all the, the kind of hot topics right now with COVID going around is what oh, yes. minerals and nutrients your body is low on. And if you can supplement all of those and keep your body channels open, um, you can get something like COVID and it not be a big deal for you. I think the people who suffer the most are the people who uh, don't necessarily supplement. So they're, they're low on vitamin C, they're low on zinc, they're low on K3 and, or D3 and K2. Uh, if you're low on those things, COVID is going to, it's going to hit you and it's going to be hard. So I just have to jump in on this because I have been a, propo a proponent of um, these types of therapies for a long time. And so I've been very big on essential oils and other supplements. And one of the things that you have indicated is a really important thing for me to point out here. And the reason I say this is because of my own study. So I knew this ahead of time, but I ended up going in for a you know, your primary care doctor does routine blood work on you every mm -hmm. so often. And so I go in, I have this panel done and it comes back and it says that I'm low in D and I said, and they said, okay, so we're going to, we're prescribing D3 to you. So I said, okay, well, are you, are you also going to prescribe the K2 with that? And there's kind of this glossing look, like, what are you talking about? And I said, well, for it to get delivered correctly, I need the K2. <laughs> we don't have anything that says that. And I am like, there's so much research on this, but yeah. it's so important to understand how all of this works together. And those two in specific, I mean, just deliver it home the way it's supposed to. Like, like vitamin C and magnesium. Uh, if you're magnesium deficient, you can take five grams of vitamin C in a day and it's not, you're not going to, it's not bioavailable to you. You're mm -hmm. not going to, your body's not going to absorb it. So there's lots of things like that, you know, you might have, um, you know, somebody will tell you, oh, you need to take more vitamin C, but if you don't take something else that, that helps to, to make the vitamin C bioavailable, then, then it doesn't really do you any good. Right. That's exact. That's exactly right. And a lot of, a lot of people don't understand how things that are fat absorbed versus wa water soluble work. And so everything that you do with your company really shares how to maximize the benefit of the things that you're offering. Yeah, there, there has to be a synergy in, in ingredients. You know, we're not, um, I have a company that I work with and whenever we make a formula, we send it to this company and they test the frequency of the product against a database of about 5,000 people. 
Um, wow. And they see, you know, does it have a, they call it a drawback, like does it have any kind of ne negative reaction on the body? Um, and, and you can kind of play around with the ingredients and see how they work together. And, um, you know, they, they usually test the product on a scale of one to 10. And we don't release a product unless it scores about 120 out of that. Uh, if, if we don't get 120 or higher, then we don't release the product. Okay. Um, so everything is over 100% good it. for you, you know? <laughs> I, I uh, absolutely love it. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about frequencies because I think people have heard about biofeedback. People have heard about some other things. I happen to know somebody that creates frequencies and it's, uh, take, it's been taken now to an entirely new level. And so there's a lot going on in this area. And I think there's some confusion about how it sort of interacts with supplements. So they're, they're kind of, they will, they're kind of two, two separate conversations. Um, I personally believe that we are moving in the direction of only using frequencies for health. I, I think the day will come where we wear a pendant that has frequencies of every kind of vitamin and every medicinal plant and everything in that pendant, and your body will pull the information as it needs to build. You know, the human body is the most complex chemical factory on this planet. Um, your body can make vitamin C, your body can make magnesium, it can make all of these things, but it needs a certain environment. And we're not there, you know, to be able to create that environment just yet. But I, I believe we are going in that direction. What I'm trying to do is kind of warm people up to frequencies. So I've always seen like one or the other, you know, people either take supplements or they believe in the frequencies and they wear a patch. You know, I have a patch on my cell phone. I wear this band on my arm uh, to, to kind of help balance my frequencies and, and help with, with uh, electromagnetic radiation and all of that. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to use our dietary supplements uh, to introduce people to frequency. So I'm, I'm using supplements uh, that are um, infused with different frequencies to kind of open this door in this conversation. If you don't believe in the frequencies, it's still a fantastic product as far as its ingredients. But let's start having this conversation about the possibility of frequencies, because the more science gets there, the more we're realizing that you know, your intention, your, your thoughts, your frame of mind shape your reality. So what is that? That's a frequency. It's a, it's a vibration. Was there something you wanted to say? No, it's just, you know, I'm thinking about what, as far as traditional medicine has said for a long time about the placebo effect or sugar pill. And that really speaks so true to what you're saying, because what's going on in your mind is going to have an effect, but you're taking it to an entirely different level because all of those frequencies are going to different parts of the body and going mm -hmm. to give the amount necessary to those cells that may be trying to combat some particular situation that's going on in there. Absolutely. Um, so I, I really feel, you know, it's, it's a marriage that's taking place right now. It's, a, it's an, an, an education, you know, a, a lot of people aren't even open really to this frequency conversation. But, you know, once they start taking our products and they say, wow, this really does work, you know, they, they know there's something special about our products. And then I can say, well, there is something special. There is something extra that, that very few other companies are doing right now. And, and that's the frequency side of things. So, you know, let's take 528 Hertz. It's one of the solfeggio frequencies. Um, 528 Hertz is, has the signature of DNA repair. Um, so it's actually what genetic physicists use to repair a broken strand of DNA. They use this vibration, this frequency, this sound, and, and the vibration of the sound makes the DNA structure come back together. Um, so we've got one product that we're launching soon that's a DNA repair product, uh, and it has the frequency of DNA repair in it. And, you know, let's face it, our, our 
DNA is being bombarded from every direction right now with so many yes. different things. There's so, a lot of things that actually are changing DNA and absolutely. we're hearing about them so much more frequently. One of the things I want to point out to the audience is if you're new at listening to things going on in the quantum physics or quantum mechanics arena, think about some of the things, the inventions way back that were thought to be completely absurd. So, you know, fifth dimension, fourth dimension, way out where, I mean, we're talking way out and yet we're living them now. And I'll give you a huge example. I mean, I, I can I can list so many right now, but let's just think about in the automotive field. Tesla is coming out. Nikola Tesla has had so much work, not just in that industry, but that carry over into health. And so people are starting to wake up and seeing that this technology that is available is working. Absolutely. And so I think yeah. right now is a really good time for people to say, I'm willing to check that out because there is so much proof now that these things um, have been so evolutionary, but they're applicable and they're working. And your company has specifically proven this, even for people who are saying, okay, I'll try your product. I'm not so on board with the frequency thing, but really they're finding that it works and they're seeing what is actually happening. Let me ask you a question. If a listener or a viewer were to say, okay, well, what, what is the most common or number one selling product that you have that's really making a shift in people's thinking on how these type of products work? What would you say it would be? I would say hands down, it's our health tonic. Okay. Um, but there's a major caveat to that is that it's also the strongest and, and roughest tasting product that we've ever developed. <laughs> so oh. we're, we're busy coming up with a light version of it that has some, um, some v vanilla essence and just some things to, to try to flavor it a little bit. But the, the health tonic, we have had testimonies about things that I cannot even mention on the, you know, live in front of people. Mm -hmm. um, it is probably the most advanced product that we have. Um, but every time we try to mess with it, we, you know, I was telling you about the testing where we test against the database. Yes. So if I put it with fruit juice, it loses points. If I put stevia in it, it loses points. If I, oh. anything that I do to touch this product, it loses points. So for, for those of you who, who, you know, take health products and, and aren't concerned with the flavor of things, I would say that is hands down the most phenomenal product that we have and will make the most difference. So I gotta um, say, if I've got a, if I've got an issue that I'm dealing with, I'm willing to pretty much go for it because absolutely. that is more important to me than you know, something that might leave a tasting like cherry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so yeah, that is, I would say that is the, the thing that affects the most people's lives. And I mean, we've had testimonies where people have been on the product for, for, so when you, it's highly alkaline. So okay. if, if you're not already on an alkaline diet, it, it clashes with your taste buds because it's so highly alkaline. Sure. Usually after two weeks of tasting the product or of taking it, um, it doesn't taste bad anymore because your body has alkalized more and now you have more of an affinity towards alkaline things and the product doesn't taste so bad. Okay. That's interesting. So does that mean I really need to make sure that I am alert about what my body's pH 7.5 should be? And I should be kind of sticking to that in addition to utilizing the products as well. So using the health tonic will start balancing your pH levels and, wow. and you'll have to work, you know, your, your body works extremely hard to keep your blood at 7.365. Okay. Uh, and if you go one point in either direction, you'll die. So your body works very hard to keep your blood at a, at a balanced pH. Um, but as far as the rest of the body, you know, wine is like three pH. It's highly acidic. Um, Coca-Cola is like two pH. It's, it's okay. like battery acid. 
Um, and our a human's diet should be about 70% alkaline and about 30%, maybe even 20% acidic. And right now we're probably at 70% acidic. And so it's basically backwards. Um, so the, the worse that product tastes to you, the more you need that product. Um, if you put wow. it in your mouth and your mouth burns, that means you've got fungus in your mouth. If it burns your throat, you've got fungus in your throat. If it makes your stomach very queasy and uncomfortable, you've got parasites in your stomach. So the, the, more, the, the more you hate that product, the more you should be taking it because it means anything that it conflicts. If you just say it doesn't taste nice, then, then you're okay. Uh, but if it starts burning or making you nauseous or something like that, you've got parasites or fungus or uh, you know, if it gives you headaches and joint aches, then you've got toxic buildup in your joints. Um, so it kind of lets you know within the first two days, it'll let you know where you are physically by how you react to the product. Okay. This is interesting because especially for women, and I want to say that because fungus is sort of related to candida. Absolutely. So if you're having any type of overgrowth in that area, and I, and I'm not, and I mean, just anywhere on the body, I mean, the area of yeah. candida that really can impact weight loss, how you function, um, down there yes. and other areas of your body, including acne and all kinds of stuff that, that is something to really think about because clearing that then also clears everything going on in the gut and down in places that really need, um, a little bit, uh, more pampering if you Absolutely. will. And so yeah. it, I mean, it's just, that is an incredible thing to think about because oftentimes we don't think fungus is that, and that is directly related to having too much sugar, meaning that your pH is off. So absolutely. Am and, I in the right that, track here? Yeah, absolutely. Everything that you've said, I 100% resonate with. And it, it's very true. If you have, even if you notice on your arms, you get these white, white spots or white blotches on your arms, that's a fungal overgrowth in your skin. Um, I live in Florida and, and I would say probably 95% of the population of Florida have got fungal infections because mm -hmm. we live, uh, you know, eight, nine months out of the year in humidity and damp, it's, it's raining, it's humid, it's, you know, dark inside the houses. Um, so people in Florida have a lot of fungal infections and, and yes, with women in particular, uh, with men too, but we don't really have any telltale signs of it. You know, women, it's easier to know when you have a fungal infection. So yes, A, your pH balance, like fungus is directly linked to acidity, like you said, sugar. Um, that health tonic product, by taking that product, uh, you boost your alkalinity. So it makes it harder for things like fungus uh, to, to survive in that kind of environment. It has neem oil in it, which is antifungal. Oh, yeah. It has cinnamon and oregano in it, which are both antifungal. Um, so the ingredients in that product, they're, they're antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, uh, antibacterial, antiparasitic. So basically a little bit of everything. So I'm thinking too, because of what we just talked about, that is also a direct I, this will counteract insulin resistance then. Yes. So we've, we've had, and I have to be careful how I say this, but yes, yes. I know. I'm just so excited. I'm just, I'm just bursting as you're talking yeah. about <laughs> all of the benefits anyway. <laughs> so we have had people who have been insulin dependent. We, we had a lady who had been taking daily shots of insulin for 46 years. Um, and she started taking that product, the health tonic. She also did a massive lifestyle change. So she okay. stopped sugar, stopped carbohydrates, started exercising. She was overweight. Uh, she lost something like 40, 42 pounds or something like that during the course of this lifestyle change. And, and I, I cannot claim responsibility for such amazing results because she did the thing that is the hardest thing for anybody to do. You know, everybody wants to take a pill and lose weight, sure. but not cut out the Coca-Cola and the pizza and all of that kind of stuff. Yes. The hardest thing to do is the lifestyle change. And, and to anybody who's brave enough to go down that road 
of taking the right supplements, but the lifestyle change. I'm not going to take sugar anymore. I'm not going to, you know, carbohydrates, all of these things that are really, really bad for your body. Now, I, I'm pleased I'm not the poster child for a healthy lifestyle. You know, I, we have our <laughs> pizza days. We have our kids' birthday parties with cake and everything. I, I also think being too sold out, you know, you, you can't take the fun out of life. You can't take the enjoyment yeah. out of life. Yeah. Um, so we, everything must be in balance. You know, I, I can't say I'm never going to have sugar again. I have sugar in my coffee every morning. Um, but then I also do stuff to counteract the sugar that I've consumed. Okay. And that's an important note right there because you can do things to counteract or, or balance the things that you're doing. Yeah. And one, I mean, there was so, there's so much to this that I've learned. Um, but something that you've said is really important. And as I, it's the commitment to making a change, but I'm also thinking that when you're taking these products, you crave less because your body's in check and it doesn't need to feed off that to create more fungus or more of something. So if you're pH balanced, you're like the, the health tonic is, um, is addressing the situations that you are facing that you're not feeling like you have to have some of these things that are so unhealthy because you're feeling so good. And yeah. when you're feeling good, you don't tend to overdo it in certain areas. I'm really excited about this. I know that we could talk so much more. I, I am just the light bulb is going off on so many, in so many areas that I could say, okay, let me, let's add, what about this? And this is how this works. And, um, because I've been studying a lot of stuff for a long time, but what you have, what your company offers, the things that you have researched on and you make sure it's 120%. I really want the viewers to connect with you on so many levels and also be able to have this right in the palm of their hands so that they can start making changes in their lives. And that's what I'm all about is delivering tools and resources that make somebody's life better starting now. And I think you're going to do it. Can you tell us how we can get in touch with you and stay connected? Absolutely. So um, anybody who wants to take a look at our product line can go to our website, which is naturereigns.com. Uh, Reigns is spelled like a King Reigns, R-E-I-G-N-S. So that's www.naturereigns.com. Um, for any of your listeners that purchase anything, we've set up a coupon code for them. So if they do, uh, when they check out, if they can use the word Reveille, like Rebecca sounds Reveille, uh, use the word Reveille at, at checkout and you'll get a 10% uh, discount on anything that you purchase. Um, for anybody feeling brave enough, we have a, uh, a special, which is the three bottle cleanse. Uh, so you would get three bottles of that health tonic and then a free bottle of raindrops, which is something I could also speak for days on, but it's an electrolyte mineral supplement. So you would add about five or six drops of that into every glass of water that you drink through the day. Basically, you can put it in anything that you drink and it adds electrolytes and minerals into that beverage. So it makes okay. it like a, uh, you know, just like a, an electrolyte supplement. Um, and it helps, helps to open your lymphatic system and, and help with detoxing as well. And then for anybody who doesn't want to go that route, maybe they're not feeling as brave to try the health tonic, we have another uh, immune support package, um, which is something that we call nano immune. Uh, it's a capsule, so you won't have the taste. And it has a lot of the ingredients from the health tonic in a capsule. It's not, uh, you won't get the detox benefits because you're not drinking the liquid. Okay. Um, but it does have the antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal essential oils in it. Um, and it's, it's what we, we've just released it now in the last week, this package. Um, it's the nanoimmune. It's a bottle of a nasal spray to help with sinuses and anything like that. Okay. Uh, it's a bottle of our Covara, which is a nebulizer therapy. Um, so we have a link on our website where you can buy a nebulizer on Amazon. It's I think $46 or something for the nebulizer, but our product, the Covara is something you would put into a nebulizer and inhale it. And it's antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. Um, and it helps to open, it's got eucalyptus in it. It's got lemon. It's got all of these amazing, uh, peppermints, everything that helps to open up your airways. And, you know, a, a big thing that people suffer with now is not getting enough oxygen in our body. 
-hmm. uh, I heard somebody say the other day that we, the, the modern human being breathes enough air to keep us alive, to sustain life. That's it. We, we have zero excess oxygen in our bodies. It's just enough to keep us alive. So by using this Covara product, it opens up all your airways and helps you to breathe. It helps if you've got um, uh, uh, asthma or any kind of, you know, bronchitis, any kind of breathing difficulties, just pop that in the nebulizer. Uh, and it's a fantastic product. And then there's also a bottle of the raindrops that helps that you can put into your, your drinking water. So that's kind of our, our new winter immune support package. Um, but for, for anybody who, who thinks it's not going to be an issue for the taste, I would definitely try that three bottle special of the health tonic. Uh, it is without a doubt, my favorite product. We keep a bottle of it in the fridge. Um, our kids, it's, it's been an acquired taste for our kids, but now like they know when they're sick, they go and take some of that because they know, you know, it works and it helps them feel better. I have, I had COVID about two months ago. Um, and that was, you know, for me living a healthy lifestyle and everything, it was still generally when I've had a flu or something, it's within 24 hours, it's done. Uh, wow. You know, I, I feel not so great. I go and lay in bed and I sweat a little bit and then I'm done. You know, I've, I've, I can't remember the last time I was sick for more than 24 hours. Wow. Uh, COVID hit me hard. Uh, it was something that I, I did not expect. Um, I had been very busy with work. So there was a lot of, you know, I was tired. My body was worn down. Uh, and when that hit me, it hit me hard. But generally for like common flus and things like that, uh, as soon as I feel, you know, a little bit fluish, I'll, I go to the fridge and I'll take it probably three or four times throughout the day. And by the next day, I'm fine. Um, so that's kind of my, my get out of jail free card from getting sick. I love this. I'm so excited about this. I'm thinking about just the packages that you've talked about. Nothing else that's on your site. Just what we, you have just went over. I'm thinking about not only myself, but other people that I know, especially, uh, someone I know that's on oxygen that I think is going to benefit quite well from this. Yeah. And I'm really excited. I mean, I just can't begin to say how important that this is to every part of what we're doing. And the number one thing is that when we're feeling good, we're thinking good. And that releases a lot of, a lot of toxins that way. And then we can start using the foot things. Um, I, I've been somebody that um, will, has been known because our feet are the largest pores in our body to put certain essential products on my feet so that it gets that rapid absorption mm -hmm. and um, I get over certain things. But the, the level now has you've, you've, you've created a scale that's much higher than anything else that's on the market. And I am ready to get this out to the customers. And so I want to just thank you so much for number one, being here today so that we can learn more about it. And number two, having this stuff available, because this is going to change lives, save lives. And I'm really excited. Thank you so much. And I, I just want to thank you as well. You know, we've, I, I've been doing this for more than 10 years since, since 2008, 2009. Um, and it's, I, I feel like we're only now kind of as a society ready to have this conversation. So thank you for providing a platform for people to now start to hear about this. It, it's taken 10 years for us to kind of get ourselves in a position to have this conversation, uh, for us to learn enough about about this topic to be able to, to speak with you like this. So thank you for opening up your platform so that we can have conversations like this. Most definitely. And I'm going to want to bring you back so that we can continue to get this out there. And over the last about five years or so, I've had conversations that have been leading up to this, mm -hmm. but this takes the cake. And I thank you so much. Thank you. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in to another episode of Rebecca Sounds Reveille. Reveille means wake up, and this is your wake-up call to change your life. You can totally do this. Simple steps that are going to make a huge difference. And let's think about some of the things that were talked about today about clearing systems. I mean, our gut, number one, that's such an important thing along with everything else. And so... Whatever it is that you have going on or you know 
somebody has going on, go to the website and see what's available. And if you even just want to start small, let's start here. I'm going to do it. I want you to do it too. So make sure that you know what to do. I can't say these words anymore, but click on it and get this out to everybody that you know, that you love, all your friends, your family. And as I like to tell you, everybody that you don't. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.